I may be biased, but my heart goes goes to one ginger. Ginger minge. Oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn, you got, me. you got me. Hey everyone, it's Mirror Mangle. And I'm Richie Ramos. And welcome to another Mangled Morning. Woo! Richie, how are you? I'm so good, Mira. It's so good to see you. It's been too long. It's so good to see you too. And we have a table in front of us as well. Yeah, not only are you finally back, but now there's a big ass table in front of us. Got a table with me. It, <laughs> oh, right. right. I brought this, this, is a, this is your skirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just trying something different. Yeah. So if you see me awkward and uncomfortable, I, it's the change. The change is um, just struggle. So it throws me off. You know, <laughs> when you're used to something, it throws you off a little bit. But For the sure. goal is to be able to have more of a, a view style show with more guests yes. that would allow that. So we'll see, we're, we're gonna work on that. Speaking of changes, we have a new season, UK season four. And of course, we're gonna talk about Philippines as well, which especially Philippines, lots of heated discussions we could potentially have because it got heated this week with that the judges. Real heated. There's lots to talk about, but before we get started, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and join the Patreon where you can see all kinds of additional content. Ow, I hit the table. See? <laughs> oh no. I hit the damn table. Damn. <laughs> don't, don't hurt yourself. Plus you're helping support the channel. Now you can also, and I keep wanting to lean on it too. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look like a, like a, hey sailor. <laughs> you can also support the channel by tipping on Venmo or Cash App like these fine folks did. Big shout out to Jacob K who said, thank you for acknowledging that the Philippine episodes are too damn long. <laughs> they are. They are. You know what I will say about the audience? A lot of the new franchises, even UK, you know, yeah. when there's controversial decisions or um, bad decisions, let's say that, yeah. made or crazy things happen. Sure. Sometimes when it's your home thing, you feel this need to like really defend it. Yeah. But what I've loved about the Filipino people are like, no, we love the Queens, but like, yeah, you're right. Some of this stuff is a mess. Like it's, we're, they're very aware. Totally. It's not defensive, which, no. which we're, we love the Queens too. Yes, like, absolutely. We want it to feel like a regular episode of Drag Race. So there's no reason it should be way longer than a no normal yeah, episode. Yeah, Snatch Game last week. I was like, why? They did not cut any of that. Oh, right. Snatch Game <laughs> was so funny. And then it kept going. I was like. <laughs> like the girls did good, but they showed us too damn much. Yeah. Literally. Anyway, but we'll get all into Philippines. Yes. Also big shout out to Nicholas P who tipped me for my Buffy look last week. Kieran B who tipped me for my Buffy and April look last week. And uh, Venus who said that they hope to be the first Montana queen on Drag Race, which I never realized Venus. they never had one. Yes. No I bet Montana. there's a lot of states. I bet we've never had a Wyoming. Uh -uh. Some of those states up there. Like a good old uh, like uh, Utah, New Hampshire queen. I don't think we've had a New Hampshire queen. I don't think so either. <laughs> Are there oh, New Hampshire queens? There was um, the rumor for season 15. There was like... Some was it New Hampshire or Vermont or something? No, Connecticut. Oh, there's there's like three Connecticut. Queens. Okay. My, uh, there better be some good like Coco Alyssa drama. Yeah. We've never had a Connecticut queen and now we have three. There's a big Connecticut scene actually because it's so close to New York. So a lot of these queens like yeah, um, my friend Sky actually runs a lot of those queens. Like um, manages a lot of those queens up there in she Connecticut. Runs the queens. <laughs> she runs them. <laughs> well, there's I guess a lot of yeah a lot of those states up there. There's yeah. not been people on. No. It's New York. It's always New York up in that area. I mean, again, we'll get to UK, but that's what's great about this current season of UK is there's one London queen and every queen is from a different little town. Yes. We've got merch here. This is Dean. He's actually one of our Patreon members and he's got stickers. He's got a Scarlet and Mira sticker on his laptop. Those are so cute. That's what we're looking at there. Now you can get stickers at miramangle.redbubble.com. Send us your photos and you'll be featured in a video. And we have additional t-shirts available at dragqueenmerch.com. All right, before we get into everything, we have to talk about uh, the crazy news that Cherry Valentine passed away. Just oh, so heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. Of course, it must be acknowledged, but it's just so, it's just so sudden and just so, She's so young. Terrible. And yeah, yeah 20, 28, yeah, like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. And she was a nurse during, you know, all of COVID and all of that. Yeah. So she was such a beautiful queen. I feel like we just only got like, she was second out on her season. So we just got a taste of her. A lot of people of were kind of gunning for her to be on like a, an all-star. Yeah. Just so you know, because yeah. she is a really just fabulous, talented, gorgeous queen that I think maybe deserved a little bit more airtime too. And it's just heartbreaking. But the the few looks that we'd get to see were stunning. Like her Beautiful. I remember her promo was one of my absolute yes, favorites. Yes, yes. And then that look at the end, of, you know, when she came back was oh my gosh. so good too. Yeah. Very on brand. But then also that famous picture of her and Ginny Lemon is just everything. I know. That's always one of my 
my favorite things is the height difference is just <laughs> insanity. Forever in our hearts. So we will always, yeah, we'll always have those memories. Oh, memories, that's the lip sync that she did too. That is. It's hard to transition from that, yeah. but getting into other things going on before we get into the episodes, Drag Race España announced that they're going to have their own all-star season. How fun. Even though it's been rumored that UK is going to finally have an all-star season as well, they're beating them to the punch with the announcement. Said. So it's the first international franchise to have an all-star season. That's pretty cool. That's huge. That is huge. And considering they're only in their second season, so they announced that they're going to do their third season and then have all-stars after that. Okay. So I guess we'll have three seasons worth of queens. Sure. Which is like even less than our first all-stars. We had four before yeah. they did one. That makes me a little bit nervous. Like if they do it every year, I'm really hoping that they pull from not just España, but all of our Spanish queens from... All the franchises. Sure, because they could bring Theresa May or... Alexis Mateo. Yeah, I mean, we have so many in the U.S. Yeah, too. this is true. Theresa May, Lolita Banana from France. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lots of people that people want that aren't just from there. And I feel like as long as they do that, it then could it be could. possible. Yeah. But if they don't, then you're going to drain that pool real quick. It's true. Because you know, like, there were like 10 or 11. And wasn't a lot of queens in both of these seasons, right? It was like maybe... Uh, I, I think season one was 10, but 12 yeah. was uh, two was 12. Yeah. So, so But still, that's not... Lie. That's one cast worth in terms of who's going to be ready, who wants sure. to do it, all that. You yeah. Know? But that's exciting. It is exciting. So we'll be seeing that next year, too, in addition to everything else we got going on. Some fierce queens from Spain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, speaking of fierce, let's get into... The Philippines, the fierce judges. We have to start there before we get into the runway or anything. For sure. The world has been pretty upset about um, the way that Eva, Lo Eva La Queen was talked to. Yeah. It was excessive. It was excessive. It was so nasty and so rude in my opinion. And I get it. Like being Filipino, I know that like it's cultural to be very honest and to be very blunt about they ha how somebody would feel about something. I think Paolo Ballesteros has been pretty honest about, how, you know, how he yeah. feels about things, but it was, it was airing on the side of just mean and mm -hmm. just scathing at times. It was like calling her outfit trash. Like you couldn't imagine that happening on a U.S. franchise, you know, like who would ever do that? And it felt, to me, it felt more like he was trying to make good TV versus actually giving critiques. Yeah. Also, just across the board, I haven't been, even though they're the designer, I haven't been crazy about the critiques, period. Beyond just what he said to Eva in terms of praising Minty, who won the challenge. Yeah. The thing he said was, you've been so funny all season. First of all, no, she hasn't. <laughs> at, she not at all. She was just bottom two for Snatch Game. Yes. Bombed the musical. When has she ever been funny? Yeah. Like, they were going on and on about how funny she was. It, like, I was like, where has this been? Like, literally, in terms of how you rate them, she's not been. She's been low and bottom two. A zero out of ten for humor. And then to be like, and, and again, not even critiquing the look, being like, I just want to be your friend. Like, what? You just seem like that. No, she does She's like a supermodel. No, yeah. not, none of it makes any sense. It didn't make any sense uh, at all. And then, yeah, of course, everything to Evo. Just, like I said, it felt more like trying to make good TV and trying yeah. to be that mean judge. And nothing was remotely constructive. And, she, and he even said, like, oh, I was just being constructive. No, none of that was constructive. Oh, right, he was like, what did he say? He said something like, I'm being hard on you. Because um, I know you're... You can than do that. better than this. Right. Yeah. But it was just, yeah, there was nothing constructive. No. It was just criticism without constructiveness. Yeah. And then even when he was done, which it, even if you're going to be harsh, make it quick. Sure. Do it quickly. It went on and on. Mm -hmm. And then even after he was done, the other, the real cute little one, I can't remember his name, but he was going. Marina? Or, oh, BJ Pasquale. Yeah. Like, the BJ. judges, yes. Uh, BJ was given his critiques, and then he still, I don't remember what BJ said, but then uh, he said something like, you'll never win. Like, that's when it really... I mean, I got the rest was, like, you're trying to make TV, but now you're jumping in on someone else's critiques, and then you're telling her... Like, that has nothing to do with tonight. No. Like, you're just saying you don't like her, and you don't think she deserves to win the crown or be there. Yeah. Like, that was just too much for me. It's a lo It was a lot of low blows, I think, from, from Mr. Rajo Laurel this week. We see this a lot with first seasons. You know, Canada was a... was Season one was a thing. Yep. <laughs> and, I mean, even... I mean, nothing compares to what Santino and Billy B used to say back in the this day. This is true. Like, they're... Because people keep saying this is the worst ever, or this is the worst since Canada. Santino and Billy B Santino were has been, the worst. Yeah, this they is were very the worst because it was bad every single week. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, they're gonna get out of the growing pains of the season one. It's not just him; it's all the judges. For was, me. Yeah, Paolo sometimes can be really mean, and I'm like, and it doesn't seem like she cares or wants to be there. Yeah, 
And I like, that and that's that kind of energy times. that I don't think that she really feels that way, but no, it's, that's how her personality is. coming across. Yeah. I've been really enjoying Jiggly as a judge. I think she gives really constructive things at times. And I feel like we see the least amount from her. Yeah. Which I'm like, I wonder if she's just being quick and concise, but everyone else is just kind of going Having on. so much to say, yeah. Because Rahul goes on and on every week. <laughs> it's true. Even when it is good or bad or yeah. whatever it is, he will just... He is like uh, Zillouette. They both will just <laughs> yeah, tell these stories. Zillouette always has an anecdote. Tell a long damn story. <laughs> it's so telenovela too. There was so much crying this episode too, like at the beginning. Do you remember when it had that random, like I think it was oh, Paolo saying something over the intercom and then they just started talking about stuff and started I'm crying? Glad you, I'm glad you brought that up because that was, was so that? damn weird. The queens are so talented. Yes. They, it has, it's no reflection on them at all. It's the production of it and the way they're setting things up. But what happened was the girls already like, first off, they already did their debrief that we saw after the previous, previous episode. Yeah. Then they come in and debrief and it was basically the same thing again. Yeah. Except for, I think Venus got a little emotional before and that yeah. was the first new genuine thing. Yes. But it still was a long scene where everyone was just like, not just saying Feeling they want to be feels. there and they want to win and you know, all that. Yeah. And then they do that voiceover and then everyone starts crying about it. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird. I was sitting there just like, what is happening? It felt like a piece was missing. I, like, yeah, what? they cut something out that made, would have made it made sense. I don't know. And do you, I don't know how, what you think about this, but what I realized, especially because the episode since they're so damn long. Yeah. We don't get a lot of like good behind the scenes workroom chat from the girls. You know how like they're in the mirror telling their stories and no. their life experiences. We're not getting a ton of that. We're not getting any character development to make us kind of fall in love with yeah. them and develop kind of this. I think out of all of them, Precious Paula is one that I've really grown to love over because you, you do get to see a bit of her, but yeah. I don't think there's a lot of background as like, far as like- I know like, nothing about Marina. No. Besides that her and Zillowat got into it. Yes. But that was episode one, and they haven't even talked about that really at all since then. Yeah. They talk a lot on the runway for some reason. That's what I was going to talk about. So Minty's story where she was telling about... Yeah. That was Wild. out of place. Yeah. We know that a lot of times those workroom moments are like prompted. Yes. But it just feels so much more natural as they're getting ready to do it. To it felt like, like that would have been the right place for that. I agree. But I agree. It, that made me realize that we haven't been getting that. No. Everything's good enough yeah. that I'll come back for season two. Same. But they need to fix those issues. Because otherwise it, it's going to just keep dragging on. Yep. Now what did not drag on was that lip sync because Eva turned it the F out. And Miss Venus just stood in one place the whole time. Which because she hurt because her leg. Because her foot. Yes, yeah. yes. She hurt her foot. True. This is true. But she also wasn't Dude, give selling it. the fantasy. No. She was making lots of crazy faces. And yeah. Eva was fierce. Eva delivered. We've seen tons of wig reveals. And we've seen a cartwheel wig reveal. But it's not done enough that I that like it got me excited still. Yeah. Like, Ooh. Uh, yeah. It was hot. Eva's been safe a lot and now bottom. Yeah. Um, that it was great to see her shine. Like, oh, okay. Like, if you go to Eva's show, you're going to get turned out. Period. I am really gagged that... Venus left. Venus is gone because Venus for me was top three. Like Same. she was my top three. Well, and there has been this trajectory though that she kind of plateaued. I think after after Snatch or no, I mean like she's been pretty consistent up no. until this episode. And she was bottom three for Snatch Game. Yeah, but I felt like her first character was Chris so Aquino good. was. Oh, and it was such a great Chris Aquino. Like as somebody who's seen her on TV, yeah, it was on point. That's she awesome. nailed Chris. And even if you don't like, I don't know the character. Yeah, but she, I thought she was hilarious. Yes, exactly. And like, yeah, the second character wasn't as good, but. She was so good in the first one that like that it wasn't deserved. But they did make that. They did try to like push that narrative for, for sure. this episode of yeah. like you've been on a downward path. No, she hasn't. No, she just had a bad night tonight. And then like Minty Fresh all of a sudden has this big had her big aha moment. She's which... our best friend now. <laughs> yeah, she's so hilarious. <laughs> we want to go out with her. She's so funny. Like if you said that about Venus being hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. agree. Next week though, Patrick <laughs> Star will be there. I'm That's so exciting. excited. And they're doing makeovers. So we got. We got Snatch Game, which was a comedy challenge. And I guess the risical, like some of them were funny, but we've had a lot of dancing and a lot of design and look challenges. Yeah. It's funny because of how good the girls were at Snatch Game. I feel like they're um, underestimating what the cast can do with funny challenges. I think so too. Asian culture in general sure. is more about aesthetic. aesthetic. Yes. Yeah. And so I get that, but you're underestimating how good these queens are. They're so talented. The Filipino people are. 100%. It's so, in our blood. I want to see more. I want to see at least one acting challenge. Minty is the first queen to two wins. Yeah. Even though she's the first to two wins, Marina to me is the front runner because she is literally in the top every week. And so consistent. And underappreciated for how good she is. Agreed. Too. But Precious also. Uh, what I envisioned before this episode, I envisioned Marina, Venus, and Precious That's as also the top, my top three. three. I agree. Yeah. But, I mean, obviously that won't happen. And I, I think they keep giving too many, um, too many free passes to Brigadine. Why did... Okay. <laughs> There's a lot. I know. It's like... like, the way that Paolo 
told Brigadine she was safe was like, she just didn't want to do it. Yeah. Like she should have been bottom three for me and uh, Precious should have been safe. Yes. They were way, I mean, we'll get to the looks in, here in a second, but sure. they were way too harsh on Precious this yeah, week. Yeah, it was fine. Brigadine, no wins. And that's the thing, because she already had the double save, and then this week you kept her safe again. The thing is, we've gotten rid of so many good competitors now. Yes. They should still be there. Yeah. Turing. She's a big name, Venus. apparently, and I, keep, I think they I don't keep, care. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm, no. I'm on your wavelength, but it's like, I think that's why they keep yeah. trying to bring her And don't get me wrong. chances. I do love Brigadine, because she's she's so gorgeous. So yeah, beautiful. she's beautiful. But some people just aren't good at drag race. Like, sure. Could be an amazing drag queen and just we've not seen not this before thing. we have seen this before absolutely right. let's get into the looks and it was a ball two looks one one look was their shopping like elegant it's supposed to be like expensive shopping look yes rich expensive shopper yes there was a name but i don't remember the catch divasoria name. Or that's the second look, the Divasoria. Right, yes, right. Yes. Yeah, and the second look was another unconventional material. Yes. Uh, so up first is Brigadine. For both, I honestly mess it. I didn't love it. I think both looks were, I think given where she was supposed to be and the expectation right. that she had, I didn't, I think she didn't bring it. She chose great colors. Yeah. Um, in both looks. But my biggest problem with her every week still is when she's modeling, I don't get what she's trying to sell me. There's no the, identity. The ball thing in her mouth. Yeah, it's like her drag character is not, and again, I'm sure she's an amazing performer and all that, but For sure. in terms of what she's showing us on the runway each week, I'm not getting who she is There's and what she wants to be. Yeah, I feel, I feel the like, same. I thought the little shopper look was adorable. It was cute. The first, I do like the first look. But, but it's just like, I don't believe her. Yeah. In terms of her selling the look. Yeah. We had that problem with some of the girls on 14 as well, but they were like newer to drag and all that. And she is young. She is. So She's that a happens baby. Too. It takes time to develop who you, your persona and all that. For sure. The look she made is not horrible, but it also wasn't a great shape. It could have been a better shape. Yeah. Up next is uh, Eva LaQueen. I... I mean, she's a mess. Yeah, it's a mess. I liked her first look. Her first look was fine, I and it did look like she, I got, I knew what she was like selling. Like expensive shopper. But it, as a runway look, was it the most exciting? No. Thing? And then the look she made was not great. It wasn't as horrible as they made it up. No, be. I was like, guys, but, it's not that bad. Right. Like yeah. you, th think about that because they referenced La La Ree with Precious's thing that she tried to do, which again I didn't care. Like who cares? It was there for a second. She didn't walk with it. <laughs> yeah. But like, think about how the judges talked to La La Ree. Yes. They weren't even as harsh, harsh as they were on Eva. No. If y'all can be okay with like, you know, Shangela's snowman and <laughs> La, like if they didn't get treated that harshly, yeah. there's no reason she should have. Yeah. Because you can see what she was doing Trying and what do. she was going for. for it sure. just wasn't well executed. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a mess. It's a mess. Up next, she is not a mess. It this is, is Mar a, uh, Marina Summers. This is a, this is a yes for me. Total yes. yes. Total yes. And actually, I think she is my favorite out of all of them. Yep. In terms of both looks overall, like her shopper so the bright so red looks so rich and expensive yes and then the look she made first off i don't even know how she did it no the weaving is so intricate the color choices in the palette is beautiful very vibrant her hair and her makeup i mean it was head to toe perfection yeah it I, was perfection i agree up next our winner minty fresh I will say it's She's definitely a yes. That yeah, she was great. second look, I mean, is was very editorial. Yeah. I mean, it did deserve all the praise. I think it was very Versace, but also with like a fresh kind of take on it. The patterns that she picked, very, very couture. Mm -hmm. The hair to the hair, it was so good. Her first look, again, was good too. Yeah. It was well put together. I guess it was maybe in the presentation or something. I don't know. It was, as she was walking, it did feel a little bit like, all right. Yeah. Like I wasn't excited about it. Yes. And that's why for me, I think Marina was overall like my favorite. Absolutely. Up next is Precious Paula Nicole. Again, they were way too hard on her. I'm going to give it a yes. Oh, I, I when too. I watched it, I liked both outfits. I, I didn't hate too. them. I don't care that she didn't make a gown. Yeah. It still looks really cute. Yes. The blue with the like orange hair was very Hermes. I got the I reference. I hated that for some reason. And I didn't, I was like, I love that. The colors were fun and it yeah. was vibrant yeah like it was exciting to look at yeah. yeah it's just a coat but it's great color combos yeah and she sold it with the personality sold the performance of the look yes um and then yeah the look she made there's 
uh, there's nothing wrong with it to me. I liked it. I thought it was adorable. Yeah. It's very like early 2000s Katy Perry, you know, Nicki Minaj. Exactly. Kind of like bubblegum. Yeah, bubblegum Barbie. Yeah. yeah. Bubble gum Barbie. I, yeah. I just couldn't believe how harsh they were. <laughs> I, <didn't get> that <laughs> I was so confused when they were giving her critiques. Honestly, it makes me nervous for her because that's what what we were just talking about we saw with Venus where one week they were like overly harsh on her and then the yeah. next week they got rid of her. Yes. I don't want them to do that to her. Yeah. The winner has to be Marina or Precious at this point. There's yeah. still a few more episodes, but. Well, and I just think too, if like, obviously there's a level of production to all of these seasons and franchises, but it's like, if you're going to produce something, at least make it look more seamless than this. Like, yeah. don't pick your favorites and I don't know. It just. Right. Yeah. These queens are doing very well. The don't... math needs to add up. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> exactly that. Her math did not add up and she's now gone. It's Venus Deluxe. Yeah. I'm torn because I actually, when I watched both looks, I didn't hate both looks. It's a still a mess, I think, but I think it was very repetitive of like looks that she's tried to do in the past. Right. Like the first look was a comedy look and it was uh, it was Paolo yeah. doing another person. Very meta. Basically, if someone were to do an impression of an SNL impression. Y yes. You know? Yes. That. Uh, so they really loved it. They actually really seemed to love that one. Yeah. It was just okay to me. I mean, I didn't get the reference, so sure. uh, it wasn't selling me on the fantasy. Yeah. The look she made, like, again, you can see, just like Eva's for me, honestly. Like, you can see what she was going for, uh -huh. but it just didn't come out the way I think she wanted. It was, yeah. It was, to me, it was the most crafty looking one. So I it agree. was a mess. I agree. When Colin Karen said something about like the line between um crafts like project and couture i think you're more on the craft project right. side i agreed with that but sure. you can see she was trying to like the sh you can see what she was doing with the shapes yeah like, she was making good shapes yeah just didn't come out looking expensive so i think out of all of them she was my lady yeah <laughs> yes yes but i wasn't ready to go see her go no and then finally silhouette I, I liked both of her looks a lot. I lived for the just like the rich Ate. Um, like she the looked first, like a Disney villain. She looked like a Disney villain. It was iconic. And I did love the second look. I thought it was very, very fun. It's hard to do leopard print or cheetah print in a couture kind of way. And I think she did a really good job of that. For a look with leopard print to be so constructed. It was cool. And yeah, for it to all, I mean, you have to line everything up the right way. And yeah, she really did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now moving on to UK. This was a great premiere. What did you think of the premiere? I loved it. These queens are strong, and they came here to slay and fight. It's great. I would say that more than any other UK season, it's very look aesthetic heavy. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of really interesting look queens this year. Yes, with specific things, stories, and narratives to share with but their But everyone's their different enough. Aesthetic, yeah. Yeah, in terms of the entrances, the one that we have to talk about is Black Peppa. Oh. That mask. First off, the mask that came off. Of her face, of her face, which was just it was nuts. so good. It was nuts. It was and wild. then the fact that she whipped the hair into baby's mouth. Was just, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to put that in here because, like, <laughs> it went straight up it in her mouth. It did. I'm Black Peppa all the way. I love her. She definitely she, earned her, like, wins for her everything. double win. Yeah. yeah. Minnie yeah. and Maxi. She only the fourth queen ever out of all franchises to win the mini and the main in the first episode. Yeah. And who are the others? Hold I think Bendela has done it. It's Raja back on season three. Okay. Benedict Creme on All Stars 3, and then Angeria. Okay. So two pretty new Not ones. Not easy to do. Oh, yeah. Baby and Danny are giving me confessional queen of the season. They were uh -huh. great narrators. Yes. Uh, Baby is one of my favorites. Baby just is that that electric charismatic thing. And that bitch don't wear a lot of makeup, but no. she don't need to. Lots of really fun confessional like looks too, beyond yes. them being narrators. I thought LaPhil, like Black Peppa, like they have iconic confessional looks already. Yeah. Dakota. Dakota. Dakota is such like, a sweet baby. I mean, she was, she was correct that she looked like a little Scandinavian like child. <laughs> yes, yes. So cute. Uh, and then Danny reading uh, Just May, who was our first out. As a fellow Ginger Spice, it was sad to see her go, but. Yes, I, I may be biased, but my heart goes, goes to one Ginger, Ginger Minge. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just Damn, kidding. you got me. You got me, Al. Speaking of ginger. It's Mira Mangle, always, always. I was just ready for it. <laughs> you were ready to take it. You're like, yes. <laughs> for holding down, like, the Asian in the season, Lay Phil is a strong, like, I always have a soft spot for my Asian queen. She is gorgeous, has the charisma. I'm excited to see what she brings. I hope she keeps that trajectory up. So in terms of charisma, superstar personality, all of that. Yeah. I mentioned Baby, but yeah, for me, Baby and LaPhil. Have that energy. Have that completely. So I'm excited, I'm hoping, because I can see it. So I'm hoping the judges see it too. Because sometimes too. we don't see that all light up. Like I said, a lot of um, look queens and a lot of resting bitch faces. Oh, yes. And a lot of, um, which I don't mind. No. And then, because some of them, like for instance, Sminty, was oh, still able Sminty. to be charismatic and still have that. But shady. 
Yeah, but yeah. some of the girls struggled with that some, which we'll talk about when we look at them individually. But so I'm very curious. I've never been worried about like a UK season for like snatch game or acting or comedy. Sure. So I'm vi that's where I'm gonna we're gonna really see who's a player here because. That's, I mean, that's usually a ton of the challenges on UK. Yeah. Like important stuff. Acting is a huge part, I think, of UK drag. Right. So let's hope that they can bring it. It's crazy they're doing singing already next week. Yeah, girl groups. Like, normally that's the halfway point. Mm -hmm. But we're doing that already. Maybe they can sing. Maybe we got a lot of singing queens on this season. I mean, it, that, uh, speaking of important for UK, that's one of the big things. Yep. Let's get into the looks. Even though this wasn't a ball, just to make it easier on yeah, our lives. Like, yeah. So I'm not picking up paddles left and right. Deal. We'll give them yes or mess overall. Yeah. Up first is Baby. I loved Baby. I think all of her looks were really strong. I'm gonna yes all of it. I think they all had a really beautiful point of view. So entrance was the first category, yes, of course. gorgeous. Then it was recreating a look or inspired by a BBC, BBC. character yes. or some a show. Yep. And then the last look was Signature You. Yeah. So she was doing Rasta Mouse. That look could have given me a little bit more. Sure. I, like Fair. if you're gonna do all that, like let's where are your whiskers? Go there. Go yes. mouse. Go full mouse. Go mouse. Yes. Her entrance look. Do you remember she said like she was going for. Uh, What'd she say? Something anime. Yes. Like, I don't see that. I didn't see it as much either. Especially with that hair, but... Glam. I, I did, she yeah. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. A good start, like a strong entrance, but that last look. Oh my god. Killed it. It looks like, I'm not for sure if it is, but it looks like puffer coat pants. Like, it was... I've never seen that. It was very high tailored fashion. Tailored that well, yeah. Very avant-garde. I was... I'm here for her and seeing what she's gonna bring this Overall, season. yeah. She's a yes, but yes. that last look is the standout. The, yeah. And then to have the bussy out. Uh -huh. <laughs> I always love a good bussy out. <laughs> Up next is Black Peppa. Which, of course, like, to me, she is the best of the night. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. She I think everything. she's going to make it very far in this competition. I just love her. I think her confessionals are beautiful. She's funny. She's got a lot of personality. She brings the looks. She has the attitude. Love it. She won Mr. Blobby contest. <laughs> she did. That was so, so good. And then the, the signature you look was so iconic, so good. Even though the chocolate headpiece fell off, it was so beautiful. Yeah. Like, and it was so well done. And she still did, like, that's, how iconic is that? That your sure headpiece fell off. And she, and she still, still got the, the damn one. thing. And I was still, I still agreed with it. Uh -huh. I still think she was the best of the week. Yeah. Up next is Cheddar Gorgeous. I'm excited to see what Cheddar brings. I'm going to yes it too, because yeah. I think she really, she has a specific narrative that she brings to drag. And she does it very, very well. From what they were saying, she's been in the scene for a while now. She's seasoned. I'm excited to see what she has to bring. Yeah, super iconic just drag persona. Yeah. I mean, since I've had Instagram, I've known of Cheddar Gorgeous. You know, like, oh, wow. been iconic for that long. Cool. Which she did mention a few times, like, it's a lot of pressure to live up to. Yeah. Because you're, out of anyone from the cast, she has the highest expectations, which is unfortunate, but that's just how it be. Yeah. Bring um, it to the ball. I do, I do think her entrance was great. I thought that was fantastic. And it actually, you know, in the photo, like, w with the lights on it, it was, like, yeah. even more colorful and more beautiful yes. with the lights on it. Her signature look was so good. Yeah, I lived for it that. Was the gold and the so steam So clean and polished. Yeah. Totally, I totally see that alien character there. Mm -hmm. The clown look, the only thing that left something to be desired was either, like, a just a better shape, I guess. Besides that, alien superstar. Like, yeah. I love anybody who's going to emulate a deity. Up next is Copper Top. I'm going to mess it just because I think as far as outfits, cleanliness... Um, and, <laughs> what a weird word, but just like, I don't know. I think if you're going to do a concept, do it to like, you know, there needs to be a, a, an energy of finesse there for me that brings it over the top. Right. I think her looks kind of lacked that dimension for me. Um, I loved the last look. I loved what it stood for. I love when she held up the letters. I just think the whole thing could have been done better. Yes, I agree. I, well, her entrance and her, you know, signature you look, which are, your entrance is also a signature you look. Yeah. In both cases, she had na like words written on it. Like, yes. She's. It's almost too simple in terms of trying to get your message across to just have to write to literally write your message on. Yes. It. It's too I, literal. It's it's on literally too literal. Yeah, yeah. It's too literal. <laughs> By the time we got to that orange runway, I was disappointed with that as well. Yeah. Honestly, because you, she also because she had her hands behind her back, and yeah. so you're thinking, okay, maybe this thing's gonna come off. Reveal. Or and so when she, it's just the and sign and the end of the word fabulous, it was disappointing for me. Sure. Now I did love her character look, which they were mixed on that one. Yeah. But I thought it was really funny. And I thought it was I great. Could see the character. Yes. Up next is Dakota Schiffer. Okay. One of our quiet babies. I honestly, I'm going to yes it. I think she's going to make it pretty decently far in the competition. I get this energy from her that she is. I'm going to yes it. I liked it. I liked all three looks. I thought the um, signature look was very, she said she was a Scandinavian. Like, I was like, I see it. Like, you are fitting, 
You're fitting the docket of what you say you are. I liked it personally, so I'm gonna yes it. The first two looks that we're looking at at the top, like it is yeah. literally the same exact shape, same exact yeah. garment, just in different colors. Ooh. And it's a cool shape, it is a yeah. great shape. Um, but all three do have the same exact thing. And the, the, especially the entrance, it didn't do anything for me. Sure. Um, and I think overall, I mean, they talked about this and it, that's the thing with some of the queens. It's not that any of these looks are bad. It's just that yeah. she's also not confident enough to sell her fantasy for me. For to sure. Sell it to me. Yeah. You know, that's valid. My favorite out of the three is the nun, the nun look. I thought that was yeah. well done. I thought they were kind of harsh on that one. Yeah. But I yeah. think they did say like, you didn't sell it to us. You sure. Sell it. And then the, the, the last look, everything's really pretty. Mm-hmm. But it's just not cohesive and I don't even I don't know if that's the right thing. I think it's just I'm not buying what she's selling me. And then you remember her explanation for it? She said, because Rue was like, what's your inspiration behind this look? Like, why is this signature you? Yeah, uh, I was envisioning Anya Teller Joy for coach campaign. What? <laughs> okay, yeah. Are you a stylist for her? Like that's not that's not That's not, who are you? Right. Yeah. Like you're picturing yeah. yourself as a specific actress sure. for a, just in a campaign. I wasn't buying that fantasy either. She hard She's a mess for me. Okay. I really like that like vintage 1940s. Well, she said that with her entrance that she yeah. was going for 60s. Yeah. Sure and Tate. Yeah. You know. Which I love that and I'm hoping she brings more it's of that a, it's energy. Not far enough in that direction. No. I want her to if she's going to commit to that aesthetic, do it all the way. Right. Uh, Next is Danny Beard. Mm. I think they have a good personality, but I like the personality. I don't know why none of these did anything for me. And also, too, I'm excited that there's a bearded queen, so I really yeah. want her to do like you know, I, I want it to be this like fierce moment to be the first bearded queen on the, the UK right. franchise. Um, but yeah, the looks just really didn't do much for me. Well, and that's the thing is that my problem with these looks is it has nothing to do with their face. No, it's, it's the the actual looks themselves. Yeah, aren't, aren't super exciting for me. No, I think she's trying. To, she's club kid energy. She gives yeah. that club kid sentimentality but it's like i want her to if she's gonna do that like yeah. give it up next mrs fame's mom that's what i read <laughs> no shade it's jombers jombers blonde <laughs> she looked like when her entrance she literally looks like miss fame like if miss fame came back for all stars i'd be like that's her <laughs> if you told me that was her i'd be like uh -huh. i didn't see it until now but it's so accurate i mean like literally i was surprised at how funny she was during the photo shoot and all of that she yeah really she had personality yeah. i personally I don't know. I, I'm I'm hit or miss. I'm gonna probably more on the side of mess. I didn't remember her. Like she's she didn't as in a queen that I thought of a lot throughout. Like oh I'm gonna be watching out for John Burrs. Yeah. Also the name doesn't really roll off the tongue. I hate saying the name. John Burrs. <laughs> Doing the J, the N and the B together. Yeah. John Burrs. But yeah. she seems like a great queen with a lot of personality. So I hope we get to see that shine. You know. In terms of showing us who you are in this first episode, I don't know who the hell she is because these are all so different. Yeah. Which is good, but also like yeah. there's no through line. No. I would give her a soft yes because there's nothing wrong with any of them, and she did sell each fantasy. Yeah. The crazy. I mean, the first two I I can see right. But then the last one, I loved her story about it being the father's motorcycle yes. you know, look and repurposed, which is cool. And it looked cool. It, it looked great. It was a cool look. But it was just so different than the first two looks or her promo. Like, I was like, who is this woman? Yeah. Up next, she has departed us. It's Just May. Sorry, Just May. I'm going to I'm gonna probably mess this. I think there was, a, a again, that energy of finesse that brings it to the next level that was just missing for me. The whole, when she was on her side, the critique that she got about looking pregnant with the... the the bust idea could have it could have been great, and it was funny at first. But then when you see the shape that it creates at the bottom, because you're not even sure what's happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, if that had been better, I think with a lot of it, it's execution. Execution, yeah. I mean, even the jury for the entrance look. I'm not a big fan of the fake made section when you can tell. Yeah, like that. Sh that sh better be tight. It better yes. look like skin. It just yes. you, could, you knew it wasn't. You knew it was her tights over. Yeah, her, her signature look for the runway would have been a great entrance, wouldn't it? It would have been like, this it, is who I am. Yes, that would have been great for the entrance and then something maybe even more extravagant for the main look. Yeah. But I will say, I guess overall, she probably was. Girl. Probably girl. was the weakest I overall. agree, I agree. I think it, it, the critiques and like her leaving it all, it all tracked for me. I'm excited for her to have this platform and go see the world. Yes, absolutely. We'll go, I'll, I'll meet her at some drag con and we'll trade wigs. Love it, love it. A Jerry off. A Jerry off. Up next is LaFille. Oh, 
definitely a yes for me. I think her looks were so great. I love her personality. I do wish that she gave us more of like a couture walk with the last look. I thought she was jumping around. Girl, I was like, what the hell was happening? <laughs> Why are you I was over there like, squirping like a chicken? Squirping like a chirping like a lord. Yeah. I just she walked. walked. Like she lost her mind. <laughs> really? Yeah. But I'm here for her. She must have had Ruth's coffee enema. <laughs> she, like, yes. she, like, that was Or wild. two, at least. Because I was like... And the, we didn't get any sort of explanation, even with her voiceover, as to why she was behaving so... Erratically. Yeah, it wasn't even like she was just really trying to say... It was literally erratic. <laughs> it was so crazy. Random. Anyway. Yeah. That entrance, though, was so good. This is so good. Oh. If it wasn't for Black Peppa's entrance, like, that's my second favorite entrance, Agreed, for sure. agreed. Looks so hot, so fresh. The yes, colors were great. the colors are beautiful. Yeah, I'm excited to see what else she's going to do, and I wish that we could get some answers as to what happened to her with that red look, because the red look was so good. I know, I was like, I, what? But Stop, let's she, just walk. <laughs> honestly, if she hadn't done that, she could have been a top yeah. that night for me. I think Because so I think her bear was really well done, too, and, like, it still looked fashion. Yes. Why did the why was the bear less camp than her signature you look? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what happened to this? I but, don't know. But yeah, she was yes. <laughs> Up next is Pixie Polite. It's gonna be a mess for me. I thought her looks weren't, again, as polished. When she was safe, I was kind of surprised, actually. I thought she was gonna be critiqued. I thought she was gonna be in copper top spot. Yes. Or copper... Copper top. Yeah. Yeah, it's copper top. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah, I thought the exact same thing when See, I was. See, Copper Top episode. wrote Ginger on every look too, so I keep I kept thinking her name was Ginger. Ginger Top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, you don't have to tell us every time you're a ginger writing it on everything. <laughs> Like, we see. We got it, girl. <laughs> you literally have the hair. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, she had one of the best entrance hairs. Yes, and she I did looked, like her hair. I remember thinking, like, oh, she looks cozy. <laughs> she, she looks like she's was ready the, to... Like, was it the most exciting? No, but I didn't hate it also. Yeah. And I actually, my favorite out of the three is her second look. That yes. was really fun, and she really sold the character, and the badges on the inside of the coat. Uh -huh. I loved it. I saw it. I got it. I concur. But that last look is just... Crafty. Probably the worst. If we were doing individual looks, it would be a that girl. would be the worst look I think yeah. of the entire episode. Yes. Also, it's just odd that that's the signature you. Like I don't get that. I don't get why. Why are you the rainbow? Why are you the sun? Are you are you the Teletubby sun? Like what? <laughs> Yeah. I don't yeah, get, no, I it doesn't give an identity. It's yeah, like what do, it. what do you do? Yeah, yeah. What is your what is your narrative? Yeah. Like, this would be great at Pride outside. Yeah. But... I Bright and actually, Pride, you know. Up next is Sminty Drop, who almost won. It was and strong. What I love about a queen like this is all these looks are not anything I would ever wear as Mira. Sure. But I can appreciate how good and how well they're done mm -hmm. and, and a totally different vision than what I would do. Yes. And she has an identity. Like, yes. I, for being well a young defined. queen, it's well defined. Like, I think she's 22 or 23. I think she is beautiful. Again, has a great aesthetic. It, it has that next level finesse that I always love in, like, the best queens. And I think she's going to make it very far. The lamp was so good. The lamp was so, to so right. Come as the lamp Antique from Road Antique Show, Road Show, baby. So funny. Sold. Up next is Starlet. So look wise, absolutely. I think she r did a great job. Like Rue said, that first look. Rue I Paul was, said it was his favorite entrance ever. I gasped when she walked through. Gives me pink breakfast and Tiffany's. Yes. I hope she gives us personality. I hope she's not just looks. I hope that she will develop over the season because I really want to see her go I was far. really shocked she was in the top because here's the deal. Yeah. You can look so gorgeous, but if you can't walk or sell me a fantasy or look like you even care, which I don't think that, it's that she doesn't care. It's just she's so unconfident. She's not confident in herself. Yeah. That was a boner killer. And she did do her best with the AppFab character with which she was there. Yeah. I think that's part of why she was in the top too. Like yeah. She's doing, some, doing the guest judge. For you know? sure. She could have given way more. The panty detail though was it was great. good <laughs> like the look itself like all the looks are great yes like, so yes yeah, she has to be for a looks yes. yeah but i don't care especially that last look with the star look i didn't care at that point because she gave nothing she gave mm, nothing no she didn't and i'm glad that rue has been calling her out on it but it's not going to be enough for me and she, mm -hmm. any acting comedy challenge like girl you're going to be in trouble she gave me pearl vibes pearl seemed like she didn't care yeah i don't think it's that she doesn't care no 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 i think it's just that she's so nervous shy or, or and timid not, not developed not yeah fully developed. yeah 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 so i hope she'll blossom but the looks are incredible Nailed it. Like that for really that first look was just so, so gorgeous. And then next week is girl groups. So I'm excited for that. I am too. It'll be great. It's gonna put you right to the test right away because you gotta not only write a verse, uh -huh. dance and perform Same. in a group and uh -huh. choreography. It's a lot of challenges 
right out the gate. It is, yeah. So, uh, let us know what you think about everything that occurred this week in these episodes. We're gonna head on out of here for now and I have one last thing to say. I have all this table room. You do. Glad you got to see me. Bye. <laughs> oh, and Richie. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> also, I'm so nervous that I'm gonna like, look, Just, <laughs> I'm gonna look like a football, you know, cause I keep leaning in. Like, Just like arms. <laughs> Just giving arms. Giving you Nina Westbrook. <laughs> <laughs>